Hi preschool families. I'm Gisa from Butterfly Garden Preschool and this is my daughter Adele. She's going to be helping me demonstrate a language arts activity today. We are going to play something called the knock knock game and most of the kids at Butterfly Garden have played this game. Um, each week we're going to put out a new knock knock game with a new set of letters. So we want the kiddos to practice and we will show you a couple activities to do each week um, to practice the sounds of the letters. And for that whole week, we want you to just stick with the four or five letters that we introduce. And then the following week, we'll introduce four or five new letter sounds and so on and so forth each week. So please be practicing just the ones that we are working on for the week. Um, we will also show you extensions and then we will also extend to kiddos who may already know their sounds 100% and therefore we will um, make it a little bit more challenging for those students. So um, this is the knock knock game. Hey Adele, let's play knock knock. Knock knock. Who's there? First, the first introduction, introductory way to play. Now, we're going to show you day two. You can play that a couple times the first day, mix up the letters. You can take turns being the knocker. And then day two, we'll mix up the sounds and I'll show you something else you can do. an object in the room that starts with a t. So you can have your child go and find an object in the room, in the house, uh, that starts with a sound that they just uncovered. T. Tape. Tape. Excellent. All right. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Who's there? find an object that starts with A. Ah. What did you find? Ant. Ant. Ah. Great. All right. Knock, knock. Who's there? Sss. Find an object that starts with Sss. Now parents, when you're doing this, I want you to make sure that you are not adding a vowel to the letter sound. For example, this is s, not s. This is t, not t. Hear how I'm putting an uh sound at the end? You want to really make sure that you're saying the sounds nice and crisp and succinctly so your, your children don't get confused. This is especially important when we start putting sounds together. Uh, after they know all of their sounds, um, then we start putting sounds together, which is reading and, and spelling. So we want to make sure that we're really clear on each sound. What did you find for s scissors? Great, put it right next to the s. Thank you. All right, let's play knock knock. Knock knock. Who's there? Mmm. Mmm. And again, it's mmm, not m. So Adele's going to find an object with mmm that starts with a mmm. What did you find? A marker. Marker. Mmm. Great. So this sound, this letter says t. This letter says t. A. Mmm. Great. So that's another variation on the knock-knock game. And then another 
way you can do it is again, you can, uh, another, on another day, you can mix up all the sounds. You do the knock knock game as we played, knock knock, who's there? Um, and then you can have the child trace the letter, if you want to make sandpaper letters, all you need is glue and sand. Um, you don't have to do that. You could use flashcards. You can even just make each set. You know, we do four to five sounds each week. So you can even just take paper and make cards with your handwritten um, letter and they can just trace the letter right onto your flashcard or your homemade cards. Remember to always have your child start at the top. We never start our letters from the bottom. Always top down. So your child can trace the, the sound as she says it. And then you can have a tray that you can, uh, I have sa um, sand in my tray, but you can also use salt. You can also use sugar, although I don't recommend the sugar. Uh, because if they start to lick and, and then the sugar gets clumpy, but salt or sand um, or even like something fine like cornmeal or flaxseed meal would work for this activity. So you just trace, can you also write on there for me? I like how you're starting at the top. Very nice. All right, so that's in the sand. And then you would just go ahead and play the knock knock game again and this time have the child trace each letter, letter while saying their sound and also write the letter in the sand box. Um, so these are different ideas. I'm sure that you can come up with your own knock-knock games, game variations, and I'd love to see how you're gonna play the knock-knock game this week um, with these four sounds. And then I wanna show you one other way to play and this is for children who know these four sounds very well and now they're ready to put the sounds together to make words so i want to see adele how many words can you spell using only these four letters and you can use two letters in the word or three letters in the word or even four letters in the word let's see what you come up with And you know what I really liked? I really liked the way as you were setting down the tiles, you were saying the sounds. So you said s, a, m, Sam. And Sam is a boy or girl's name. Let's see if you can come up with another word. all four letters, letter sounds to make that word. Great. How about we try one more? Great. Let's say the sounds one more time. Mast. Mast. Very nice. I'm gonna show you, you can even only, actually I'm gonna have you show them Adele. You can even find words with only two sounds. Can you try one with just two sounds? A, M, mm, am. Excellent. A, M, mm, am, like I am sitting. Great, so friends, I want you to try playing some of these games this week. Tell me send me a video, tell me about how it went. Uh, remember, if you already know the sounds, you can make words with these sounds. And if you want, you can trace them in the sand tray. But if you are a reader and a writer already at our school, then I want you writing the words on paper, okay? And you can even be drawing pictures next to those words. So make it fun. 
Share with me your ideas of how you are playing the Knock Knock games this week and join us again next week for another four or five new sounds. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the little bell next to subscribe so you get notified next time we have a lesson on YouTube.